Welcome to Zoom Zoom, where we eavesdrop on other people's Zoom meetings. Today, we spy on a meeting among members of the hit show, Tiger King. All right, listen up, you two. Netflix called. They offered to pay each of us $20 million if we come up with enough storylines for a second season of Tiger King. Now, I know we've had our differences in the past, but that's a lot of money. We need to work together to make this thing happen. $20 million? Wow. That would buy a lot of smoking hot indentured servants. I like the sound of that. Let me get this straight, Joseph Maldonado Passage, convicted felon and judgment debtor. You try to have me killed, you owe me hundreds of thousands of dollars, and now you want me to climb in bed with you on a business deal? Hey, Carol, I didn't say nothing about no bed. Joe Exotic, don't swing that way. Just hear me out. Episode one writes itself. We call it Joe Exotic gets out of prison. Hey, don't get me wrong, Joe. I respect you as a fellow exploiter of animals and polygamist, but how in God's name are you going to get out of jail? It's not a problem. President Trump told me straight up, if we give him just 10 minutes of FaceTime every episode and turn one of our tigers loose on Nancy Pelosi, he will grant me a complete presidential pardon. No questions asked. You have got to be kidding me. I can't be a part of this. But will the Pelosi thing be televised? There's just something about the sound of tiger teeth tearing into human flesh. Not that I would know anything about that. Hey, I have a great idea for the new show. It's easy to pull off. We do the exact same thing all over again, but instead of tigers... We use lions. We call it the Lion King. Doc, there's already a movie called that. Both my ex-husbands used to get high and watch it over and over and over. They love them some Simba. Anyway, we need to come up with something else. I think we need to film a karaoke night and have Joe get on stage to sing all his greatest hits live and in person for two hours. Oh, that's real funny, Carol. I think we need to film a pack of tigers with coronavirus licking your face live and in person for two hours. That is it. I'm done. No more. I'm disconnecting now. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that, Carol. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 old, ha old habits die hard. And now, we, we all got a lot at stake here. And I really, I really do want your ideas, Carol. So, so come on now. Well, I... I have been quarantined with my husband for two weeks now, and he's been using way more than his share of toilet paper and toothpaste. If I make those problems go away permanently, that could make for good television. Yes, there you go. You make him disappear, then you frame the Amazon delivery guy for kidnapping him. The American public will eat that up. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's keep, keep those ideas coming. How about this? I get invited to a private party at the Playboy Mansion. One of my tigers chases Hugh Hefter off the premises, and I take over his entire operation. Oh, for God's sake, Doc, can you keep it in your pants just for once? Hey, what is the problem? Sex sells. Am I right, Joe? Like a pizza covered in Walmart dumpster meat. In fact, I'm thinking of an episode where a uh, a sexy young exterminator shows up in my place to kill some rats. Then he ends up falling madly in love with a certain someone, and they tie the knot in a beautiful ceremony presided over by Lady Gaga. Oh, that reminds me, Joe. Did you hear that one of your hideous ex-husbands got his nasty teeth fixed? You mean John? That ain't no big deal. He's done that three times before. I give him 90 days before he smokes enough meth to ride out that new set of choppers. Hey, who are you? My name is Anthony B. Feline. My friends call me Tony, but you can call me Anthony B. Feline. Who invited you to this meeting? That's not important. 
What's important is that I have enough dirt on all three of you scumbags to bury a full-grown elephant. Maybe two. So either each of you give me half of your share of this new deal you're working on, or I go to TMZ and you each get a life sentence locked up in your own personal tiger cage. I didn't do a thing. Not a thing. You can't prove it. No, I can't. No evidence whatsoever. Is that right? Well, as it turns out, Carol, I was there that night, hiding in the bushes. I saw the whole thing go down. In fact, it was my Uncle Bernard who did your dirty work. And you didn't even have the decency to give him any condiments. That's not true. I offered salt and pepper. You make him choke down a ground-up pile of leathery human skin and half-rotted internal organs with no dipping sauce, no bread, no side salad. You're a horrible human being. And as for you, Joe Exotic, that blonde mullet of yours, that's not your natural hair color. It is so. It absolutely is. Totally natural. Well, not according to a certain Francisco Fernandez, the Cuban hairdresser who's been dyeing that mess every other week for the last two decades. Oh, you disgusting furry piece of crap. You really suck. That's what he said. And guess what's up for you, doctor? Oh, you mean me? Y yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm a doctor. But I'm totally clean. You got nothing on me. Well, according to a trusted source in the tiger community, one of those 300 wives you've stockpiled isn't a woman. In fact, she's not even a human being. She's a tiger. Sheba? No, 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 no. That, that marriage was never consummated. 20 minutes of home video you shot suggests otherwise. The state of South Carolina may be willing to look the other way with human polygamy, but they do not look favorably on bestiality. But it was totally consensual, I swear. All right, then. You all know the deal. Ten million dollars from each of you, or I'm off to TMZ. Oh, and I also want the hottest female tiger from each of your collections. Disease-free, of course. Final offer. Next time on Zoom Zoom, find out if a talking tiger can successfully extort $30 million from three complete dirtballs.